guys, welcome to Vet Ranch. I'm Dr. Carrie. I wanted to introduce you to this girl that just came in. Um, her story is that she was found in an abandoned house today, tied up. Um, there's a police report going on with this right now to try to find the person that would do that to her. But clearly she was tied up for, who knows, weeks. She went crazy after the water um, as soon as she was given a bowl of water. Um, so we are going to try to figure out what's going on with her skin issues, get her rehydrated, get some food in her. Obviously she's extremely thin, um, but she's as sweet as can be. Um, I don't understand how anybody could tie her up in a house and just forget about her. She's a sweet dog and she's been nothing but sweet to us since she's been here. So we are going to fix her up and figure out what we need to do to get her healthy and fix her skin. Hey there, sweet girl. Can you come face her towards me? 36 pounds. Let's see if we can get some weight on her. I think she might be afraid of water. Yeah. Or at least like running water. Okay, baby girl. It's either that or it might be hurting her. Oh, it's hard to even touch her. It makes me so sad. Does that feel good? Getting all clean? Getting all those fleas off? We are on our way to the courthouse right now because we are going to go to June's custody hearing. Um, to make sure that we get possession of June or the rescue organization actually, Hunt County Pets Alive, is gonna try to get custody of her today um, so that she doesn't go back to the owner. So this should be kind of an interesting situation because I'm gonna testify kind of on June's behalf about what condition she was in whenever we got her. So we'll let you know what happens. Not sure if we can film in there, but um, we'll update you as soon as we come out. Well, we just came out of the hearing and it actually wasn't that exciting because after deliberations, the owner actually um, just decided to go ahead and um, sign June over to Hunt County Pets Alive. So we have official documentation that she relinquished her to us. Um, so we're really excited about that and now we can just focus on getting her better. Um, but remember, this was just a custody hearing. So most likely in the future, charges will also still be brought against her for animal cruelty. So those usually take a little bit longer. Well, it's been two months and she is, as you can see, in great flush. She's gained lots of weight. Um, we got her skin condition under control. Remember, she had almost no hair, especially on her little butt area. So she's got all of her hair back. We treated her for um, sarcoptic mange and got rid of her intestinal parasites. So that also gives <laughs> me helped her put weight on. Um, so she's doing great. We're gonna wear right now for her final weight and she's getting spayed today and then she'll be up for adoption. So if you guys have experience with these bully breeds, you know they're great dogs. And if you're interested, let us know um, and we can get you in touch with her doctor. Also, um, we just want to say thank you, Vet Ranch, for allowing us to do these kinds of cases and take dogs like this that are unwanted and <laughs> get them a home and get them healthy again. You know, if you remember her story, she was completely dumped. So a family actually admitted to moving away and leaving her in a backyard for about 45 days tied up. Okay, so this is something they actually admitted in court that they could not take her with them to her, their new apartment, so they just left her tied up. So instead of taking her to a shelter and giving her a chance for adoption, they actually just were going to let her starve to death. So we we're very lucky that some people just happened to find her and get her in connection with us so that we can rehabilitate her. And, and now she's, as you can see, spoiled rotten, and we hope she'll be spoiled forever. Thanks again, Vet Ranch. Check her out. She's 51.7 pounds. I believe she was about 37 pounds when she first came to us. So she looks amazing. Probably can gain a little bit of weight through here still, which she will. Um, once she's spayed, it'll probably help her gain a little bit of weight too. So anyways, she's a good old meathead now and she looks amazing. Come on, girl.
Sometimes when you're feeling young and you're feeling tough And you're all caught up but you don't walk right and you don't talk right And there ain't nothing wrong with feeling strong But I know what you're going through I know cause I've been there too I don't walk right and I don't talk right And there ain't nothing wrong with feeling strong But I wanna be there for you honey Working my job and making money I was climbing a tree I lost my footing I fell 30 feet Now I don't walk right And I don't talk